now we come to the multiplication of a vector by a scalar by a scalar the multiplication of vector by a scalar multiplication of a vector by a scalar let us say i have a vector okay let us say this is my vector this vector is a right okay now if i multiply this vector by a scalar say i i multiply it by 2 2a okay so 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 what happens is if this scalar by scalar we mean a mean a real number if the scalar is a positive quantity what it does okay so so if the scalar is positive or, or i say it is a positive scalar then what happens it does not change the direction of the it does not change the direction of the vector first of all okay after multiplication okay so direction of the vector remains the same direction of the vector is the same is the same and what happens the direction remains the same and the length of the vector gets multiplied by this length of the vector length which represents actually the magnitude so the magnitude of the vector of the vector gets multiplied by the scalar okay so the magnitude of the vector gets multiplied by the scalar what does that mean in this case this is a positive quantity 2 is a positive quantity so what happens the direction remains the same and by magnitude becomes twice And, and what is represent what represents the magnitude the length so let us say this vector might be representing a wind blowing at say 50 km per hour okay per hour because maybe i am not being exact maybe this is 5 cm in length and you have defined the scale to be 1 cm represents 10 km per hour right this is what the scale is so so if i have to to represent 2a what we do is is del b b the vector length will become twice right so so if i am trying to represent 2a then it becomes something like this that there is a vector here that there is a vector here it comes in it comes in and and aligns with this okay so it aligns with with the vector here like that head to tail okay hold on so Okay. Okay. So I put it like that, right? right so so this this new one becomes the vector vector 2a 
because it is it is head to tail right it's arranged head to tail correct so twice in length okay if it was 3a it will become thrice in length if it is half a it will become half in length so so how do i represent half a half a it will become half in length of this right so so i already have the full vector i pasted somewhere okay so 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 this and you erase half of it right half of it you erase okay approximately that so this becomes half a this is half a this whole is 2a right end to end you may you may for for clarity remove this remove this sign from here right correct it's half in length this is half a and what does it represent how many kilometers will it represent it will represent 25 km per hour it will represent 25 km per hour this represents how much this whole thing represents 100 km per hour get that this is this is 50 and 50 so together it is 100 100 km per hour you get that simple fine now what happens if i multiply it by a negative number let's say multiplication by a negative number i i first of all do multiplication by minus 1 multiplication by minus 1 okay what happens if you have a vector like that okay say say a vector like this okay let us say this is vector a and i multiply it by minus 1 so what happens is so what happens is is this vector has the same magnitude okay so i i copy it i paste it so this vector has the same magnitude okay it has the same magnitude the only thing that multiplication by minus 1 does is is it it flips the direction okay so so it is like that okay and the direction and the direction changes so the direction becomes the opposite otherwise it is it is in the in the same direction so 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 the direction becomes opposite we call these vectors as anti parallel okay they are anti parallel hmm? parallel is for the lines anti parallel is for the vectors when the direction is opposite they are called anti parallels okay so so just try shifting this and try to align it here just try to align see the length is the same the direction is just become opposite right you see that it has just become opposite that is the impact of multiplication by minus 1 so this vector is now minus a minus 1a which right which we write it as which we write as minus a now once we understand this i can multiply it by any negative scalar okay so i i do the multiplication multiplication by any negative scalar okay any negative scalar now what happens suppose i try to multiply this by 
by minus 3 this vector right so so what will be minus 3a minus 3a now you should consider this to be first whenever there is a negative vector you should understand that it has first been multiplied by minus 1 and whatever is the resultant has been multiplied by 3 understand minus 3 can be written as 3 into minus 1 now we know the impact of multiplication by minus 1 what happens let me let me let me kind of see that so 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 why that this is minus a right this is minus a this is minus a right so so i multiplied it by minus 1 uh, this flipped and became this now this vector gets multiplied by plus 3 so now its direction won't change get that its direction won't change now this minus a gets multiplied by 3 and we already have done the multiplication by a positive scalar so what does it do it 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 makes this thrice in length right so double the length or maybe I can line it here triple the length we get that and at these unnecessary arrows we can remove this becomes one full vector which is thrice in length of the original vector of, of the original vector but its direction has become opposite to a this full vector that is the minus 3a vector did we get that this is the impact of 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 multiplication by a negative number so so suppose someone had multiplied it by minus half or minus 1 by 3 so what will be minus 1 by 3a it will be the same vector it will be the same vector minus a okay what does it say I'll, I'll treat it as if it has been multiplied by minus 1 first so it becomes this followed by that it becomes one third so its length will be one third of what it is so so let me erase this to third portion right this becomes this vector becomes minus 1 upon 3a you see that minus 1 by 3a fine so that is the impact of the multiplication of a vector by a real number that is a scalar okay